Borscht is central to the Ukrainian kitchen. There are as many recipes for borscht as there are Ukrainian grandmothers. Now, speaking of grandmothers' recipes for borscht, normally theirs takes a really long time to make. We've cut down the time no, to about half. So, to begin, we're going to use beets. The beets are wonderful, wonderful vegetables. They're root vegetables and they have a great color. They're very nutritious as well. To begin, we'll have to peel the beet. So just take a knife, take off the top and the root end, and just slide your knife along the skin, removing it. Try not to go too deep. You don't want to remove all the flesh. You just want to get rid of the skin. Now I've rinsed these before to get rid of the grit. Now, as you could probably see, my hands are getting kind of red. And that's because beets stain. So be careful. You want to wash down everything pretty quickly. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to shred the beets. We're going to put them in our food processor. We've already shredded three. There we go. That cuts down your prep time a lot. Because beets stained, people figured out that they could use them to make dye. They use the beets to make red dye for Ukrainian pisanke or Easter eggs. They also use the skins of onions to make the yellow dye. We have our finely shredded cabbage, which we've done in the food processor. We also have our carrots, which we've julienned into nice two inch thin strips. We have our celery, which we've diced nicely as well. So we're going to add that into our borscht. 